Welcome to our thermal imaging mini series. Today we're going to talk about the value of a decision making camera in the reduced or minimum staffing environment. In America today, you've got 1.2 million firefighters. So approximately 900,000 of those firefighters are serving in accommodation or volunteer departments. They're not showing up with large numbers of resources. They're having to do more with less. How does a decision making camera like the Attack Pro help someone in that environment? When firefighters are showing up with two to three personnel, if that, they're having to do all the same tasks and fire ground functions as large municipal departments, but they've got to do it with just those two people. When they have that problem, they have to have a unique situation. They need a force multiplier, a camera that allows them to see the problem, mitigate that danger, and do it faster and more efficiently. So if they're able to do their size up, locate and find the fire, if they're able to use this in fire attack to direct the stream, and more importantly, when we talk about search, we've learned a lot from Firefighter Rescue Survey of where those victims might be. Now we have a camera that allows two firefighters to come in and split search. If they both have a decision-making camera, they're going in and clearing rooms on their own. One of the things we teach at Insight Training is how to do that more efficiently. Firefighters work together as a team. They go straight to the fire room, isolate, work from the greatest thermal threat back, unless it's a targeted search where they know where the victim is, and they do that 70 to 80% faster, not because they're staring at this camera, but they are able to get their life fire and layout move with purpose, move with intentionality, come back, communicate, and get the victim out faster and do what they swore to do. If you're interested in learning more of that, I challenge you to check out the resources we provide, and more importantly, I challenge you to do the training with your department and learn that this device could be an asset. But if you don't get training on it, that's a detriment, and that comes back to us. So we have to learn this device and how we can use this to make things better for the victim, for their property, and you. Make sure you understand that and check out our resources and our friends at Seek Thermal. Thanks for watching. Stay intelligently aggressive, and let's remember what we came here to do.